Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gordo and I paint 3D prints. I just had an accident and had to declaw Wolverine. And before you turn off, please let me show you. Yeah, I had to do it. I really messed up, but I have an idea. Please stay tuned so I can show you how to fix it. Okay, there are three camps of Wolverine fans and I want to know which camp you fall into. Those who prefer the classy brown and yellow costume the drooling fans who prefer the furrow, yellow, and blue costume. Those who think he's a simp. But we can all agree is that the movie costume is crap. The other few points we could agree with is that Wolverine is very bad at. He has an extreme healing power. He smokes a cigar, has a cowboy hat, rides a motorcycle, and has these badass claws. I mean, just look at him. Look at them. I will always fall into the classy Wolverine camp. Just look at this. But before we get there, let's see how we made that happen. The first thing I needed to do was to remove the supports. Everything was going well until... Oh no. After questioning all my life choices, I remembered, oh right, I have a 3D printer. I can reprint them. So I decided to declaw him and give him new implants. But more on that later. Okay, tree supports. Great step forward in 3D printing, but still not perfect. They leave the surface of the model with these rough edges that need to be sanded. For sanding, I will not be using the rotary tool. The rotary tool with its high speed and friction can melt the PLA. And I want to be gentle with Wolverine. With Logan, we need to start with these gentle nail files, kind of like giving him a pedicure but to his butt, pecs, neck, chin, head, and of course his feet. We start sanding with the nail file and we progressively go to a finer grit, finishing with this fancy sandpaper from Hobby Lobby. We then give him a nice bath to remove all the dust. After air drying for a few hours, he was dry in 20 minutes, but I got hungry while waiting, so I decided to eat lunch. I mean, obviously, I am Gordo. Now we are ready for priming. I chose a black primer because I wanted to try a technique to accentuate the shadows. Not naming it this time. You already know what it is. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse by now. As if I needed any more challenges. I challenged myself to highlight using dry brush. I came to the workbench to dry brush some white paint to create highlights on the race areas. This is a much bigger challenge than Xavier trying to use stairs. Isn't it beautiful so far? Okay, time for trivia. Trivia question number one. Where is Wolverine from? One, Westchester. Two, Canada. Three, Metropolis. Four, DC Comics. And the answer is... Ding, 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 Canada. Okay, on to the start of the show. Painter's tape and his psychic liquid mask. I decided to paint the brown areas first, starting with boots, chest, back gloves, and his butt. Originally I was going to mask everything with tape, but I got lazy and I decided only using it in the less precise areas and using liquid mask where I needed precise lines. I used tape on the rock base and the bottom half of his legs. For everything else I used liquid mask. I then moved to the spray booth and started blasting. After blasting brown paint on the model, I removed the tape from his legs. I then removed the liquid mask originally with an X-Acto blade and a plastic pick, but then I settled with just rubbing Wolverine and I think he liked it. I then reapplied the liquid mask to his brown bits and tape to his boots because it was time to spray his legs. The transparent paints I used were, well, too transparent. The yellow paint on the black primer was turning green. The green looked worse than the time I made Michelangelo radioactive with green neon paint. This was not good, not good at all.
so my brilliant idea was to use a tan paint over it. It helped, but the green was still showing through. I removed the mask from his arms and face to start painting them. I used medium fleshstone model color from Vallejo, but this color made Wolverine look like he had jaundice. I didn't think painting this model would be such a challenge. And I want you to see all my mistakes, mainly so you won't get discouraged when you make mistakes. I then touched up the browns on my workbench. I wanted to give it some contrast using three different tones of brown. US Art Supply sells this big eight ounce bottle of light tan flesh tone airbrush paint. So I cured his jaundice with that. Okay, trivia question number two. What is Wolverine's real name? One, Peter Parker. Two, Logan. Three, Tony Stark. Four, James Howlett. And the answer is, ding, 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 four, James Howlett. Bet you didn't get that one. I then decided to finally fix the green pan fiasco by brushing in some brown on the green. I didn't like that either. Not one bit. So to distract myself from the leg pan disaster, I went on to paint his bright red belt and the black X on his buckle, along with the soles of his disproportionately large boots black. After all that, it's time to paint the rock base. I removed the tape from the base and I masked the soles of his boot to give the base a much needed color. While at the spray booth, I decided to paint his claws as well. And I decided to use Createx metallic paint. But first, we need to prime them white this time. I highly recommend this painting clip kit. It holds small things in place and has these rods to hold on to while airbrushing the model. I think I got ahead of myself. I modeled the claws in Fusion 360, but you can use Blender as well, and printed a few extra just in case anything else decided to happen to them. Okay, now that they're painted, let's attach these claws. Super glue and this accelerator did the trick. This will speed up the curing time of the glue to mere seconds. Okay, final trivia question. What is the best Saturday morning cartoon ever made? 1. X-Men the Animated Series 2. X-Men the Animated Series 3. X-Men the Animated Series and 4. X-Men the Animated Series And the answer is, ding ding ding, X-Men the Animated Series. I once again went back to the pants, this time for the last time, and I think I got it right this time. And with that, I think I'm finally done. For the final step, a little bit of top coat. And here's the final result. Okay guys and gals, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more content, please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Peace.